Well, you know, version three will be coming out. It's now part of the operating system. So whenever Windows 8 and or Server 2012 ship, then Windows version three will ship and will be available for Windows 7, Server 2008 and R2. There are some really cool features in PowerShell version 3. It's certainly they've fixed a lot of bugs that we may have had in version 2, have expanded some commandlets, a lot of new things with the SIM commands was a different way of getting to WMI information. But there will be some things that will throw some people because they're going to have PowerShell version 2, I think, in, for a long time still. Because I'm still going to have you know, XP boxes or server 2003, places that I can't put in V3. So people may think, oh, I'm totally out of luck. Well, that's not totally true because I can talk from a V3 box to PowerShell version two. So as long as I still have like a Windows 7 box, I can load version three of PowerShell and still manage all my V2 boxes. If I have a server that, or desktop for that matter, where I can support version three, yeah, then I might want to do that because I'm going to get some cool new features that require version three, like workflow. So workflow is this exciting feature. It's been around in, in the Windows world for a long time, but from a PowerShell standpoint, this is kind of new. So workflow is a way of taking a series of activities, something that I might want to do on a server, number of tasks, could be long running, something I basically want to set it and forget it. I want to configure new servers. I want to add some new roles, configure some files, some folder permissions, some, set some security counts, a bunch of steps X, Y, and Z. So I can build that in a workflow, throw that, run that on my machine, but say, hey, toss that workflow to this remote machine that's running PowerShell version three, and it will do it. So if I have, let's say, I've, I'm, and this is all heading towards the cloud stuff. So I have, you know, I got to bring up, you know, five new file servers. Then I have my workflows that configure my new file servers. The servers are up. I just are running, say, server 2012. I launch my workflow on my Windows 7 or Windows 8 box. So here's my workflow, dash ps computer name, the 10 computer names. It goes off, does a thing. They can survive reboots, can be persistent, totally cool stuff. So there are some exciting things in V3, but people, I don't want people to think, oh, I have to have V3. Um, because there are, I know, I've still talked to a lot of people who are still have XP and server 2003, and they're not going to be able to take advantage. Uh, but as long as they're running version two, they're still, they'll, they'll, they'll still be good.